Once you've completed applying loads to your structure, you can analyze your model. I'm just going to do a linear analysis here and then review the results in the plot window. We have a range of different diagrams that we can display. Bending moment diagram, shear force diagram, axial force diagram and deflected shape. When we're looking at each of these diagrams we can switch between the different load cases to see the relative magnitudes of the loads. If we double click on an individual member we can see the individual diagrams for that member and we can move our crosshair along the member to see the loads and uh, magnitudes of resultant actions at any point. We can also turn on a display of reactions so we can see the direction and the magnitude of the reactions at any of the bases of the columns. If I go to the deflected shape view, this is obviously an exaggerated deflected shape. We can use the rendering command to visualize our deflected shape a little better and we can use a color overlay here. I'm going to switch to the combined load case and use the animate command to show how the colors change as the stresses change from zero deflection to maximum and back again. If we want to find a particular result in the structure, for example we want to find all of the members that exceed a certain stress value, we could display let's say the diagram of bending stresses and then from the select menu I can automatically select all of the members that have an absolute bending stress greater than 140 megapascals. Those members will be automatically selected and I can use the masking command to isolate those members so we can switch between the whole structure and just the members which exceed a certain criterion. We can also review our results numerically so we can go to the results window and we can tabulate joint displacements, joint reactions and sums of reactions, member actions and automatic summaries of the maximums that occur, maximum positive, negative and absolute values on each of the members. There are many functions for visualizing results of analysis in multi-frame. Those are just a few of them. Thank you for watching.